My name is Amanda Wilson and I am a graduate student here at the Stowers Institute. I think having this, this opportunity to try out research was really what, what made me realize that I loved it. I think that research is one of those things that if you don't actually try it out before, it's hard to know what it entails. Having that opportunity to be both an intern and a tech for a little while was really what gave me the advantage to get into graduate school. Because one of the things that they wanted to know in the interview process was, was I serious about research? Did I know for sure that this is what I wanted? And being able to say, yes, I've had experience, I've been, I've been doing it for a while, and I know for a fact that this is what I want to be doing for the rest of my life, I think really made a difference. Because it's one of those things that's easy to say that, yeah, that sounds like a neat idea, but you can't really know for sure until you've been in there and doing it for a while to know that that really is where you want to be. That this is not just a job that you get and you do for a little while until you get something else. It's really a career, it's really something that you have and that you do for life. Getting the chance to, to be an intern, to do research as an undergraduate is vital. So if you think research is what you want to do, then it's very important to find that opportunity to experience it firsthand. My name is Marissa Palo, and I'm a research technician here at the Stowers Institute for Medical Research. After being a research technician, I would like to go to graduate school, uh, maybe even be a principal investigator someday. And I, I think that's the most important thing about undergraduate research is that it can show you that there's an entire new world out there that you may not, uh, like me, have ever known existed. That you could be actively contributing to knowledge that people will be learning out of textbooks someday. And that, that'll be your research that did that. I had no idea that that was even possible. I was just looking for, for a job, for a paycheck. That was all I was interested in. And now I, I really want to do science for the rest of my life. For anyone that has the chance, you should definitely take it uh, and, and do research, dip your toe in, because there is this incredible world of research that's waiting for you. My name is Elizabeth Bowerly and I'm a research technician in Scott Hawley's lab here at the Stowers Institute for Medical Research. I was given the opportunity to be an intern and immediately just fell in love with it. In school they kind of teach you that this is what we know, this is all the research that's been done, you're like, wow, that's a lot. And you think, what research can there need to be done? It's, there's, we already know how all this works. And then you come in, you're like, well, how does this work? And you're told, well, figure it out. And once you figure it out, it's the most amazing feeling. It's a good stepping stone for anyone because it introduces you to the research setting that's important for all of those fields. There's so many interesting people. There's not just scientists. There are MD, PhD students and grad students and interns. And, and it helps you make those connections that are just going to be important for um, your future, for when you go on. Hi, my name is Christine Smoyer. I'm currently a graduate student at the Stowers Institute for Medical Research. School doesn't really prepare you for what it's like to be in science working on your own project from day to day. Because you always have that little question in your mind, like, is this really, you know, is this really going to be the right path? And um, just having that experience to get in the lab and just fall in love with it while I was still in school really cemented in my mind that this was where I wanted to go. My name is Danny Miller. I'm a third year MD-PhD student at the University of Kansas Medical Center. I've finished two years of medical school and I just started my, my first year of graduate school, which is my first year of my PhD. Um, I was a, an intern at the Stowers Institute about three years ago. I happened to take uh, undergraduate genetics from Scott. Uh, I sat in his class and uh, was immediately uh, taken aback by his passion and enthusiasm for genetics. And it was, it was really, it was infectious. Um, at the end of class one day, I walked up to him and I said, hey, do you, do you need an intern or any help in your lab? And I completely thought that he would blow me off or, you know, not, you know, he's busy. He's got lots going on. Everybody wants to work here. And he, uh, he happened to say, he said, yeah, send, send me a resume. 
and I did. And, uh, and since then, I, I spent a year as an intern, and then I spent a year as a technician here in the lab before I went to medical school. I had a little bit of a lab experience before I came to the Stowers Institute, but nothing on this scale and nothing with these kind of resources, these kind of people. Uh, the opportunities here are just, are just endless, and other places didn't have that. And coming to Stowers was one of the most fortunate things that has happened to me in my, in my training so far.